So in this presentation, we're going to continue on with our two ANOVA with replicates. And what we're looking at here is just essentially what we just do have here is a recap of what we uh, computed in the first part. We computed three sums of squares identity, the sums of squares of depth, the sums of squares of nitrogen, and the sums of squares of this interaction effect. And uh, we also the, the computed degrees of freedom as well. Uh, just as a remark, there's a, this is a 2 way ANOVA with replicates, so you should be able to compute interaction uh, effects. So we're going to continue on now. This is the second part of the exercise. We have some of the hard work done here. So this, may, this is going to make the, this video quite short. Uh, what we're going to do is, when I just get going there, this is the question again. The following data are from a two-factor experiment on sugar beet. The two factors are nitrogen. Uh, when there's three levels, uh, zero, 50, uh, 0 kilogram, 50 kilogram, 100 kilogram sulfate of ammonia per acre. And let's just move that in there a bit, just put it in the shot. And also the depth of winter plowing. What we had there is uh, six factors, sorry, six, uh, two factors, two levels by three levels. So we have these six possible combinations and we have four replicates for each combination and that's how we find the replicate measurements so what we're going to do now is continue on with this and we have to compute an ANOVA table and uh, just as a sort of quick remark actually I'll just talk about the degrees of freedom here degrees of freedom and that is So for depth, uh, for the A variable, just as a quick remark, the A variable, as far as our formula sheet is concerned, is whatever is arranged along the, the rows. The degrees of freedom for A, or depth here, is R minus 1, number of rows minus 1, so that is equal to 1. Degrees of freedom for uh, nitrogen, which is arranged along the columns, uh, that is number of columns minus 1, so that is equal to 2. And also for the interaction effect, the interaction effect interaction is the multiple of those two, so it's two times one is also equal to two. Oops, there we go. Sorry, I just got a bit too far there. Just uh, bunched around. Uh, the, the the software can be very heavy going on the computer. Okay, so uh, interaction effect, interaction degrees of freedom is r minus 1 times sorry r minus 1 times c minus 1 and that's also equal to 2 uh okay uh, the overall degrees of freedom is degrees of freedom for total is 24 cases minus 1 and that is equal to 23 okay so let's move on blank page there and this is what we have to do the analysis of variance table is given as follows and what we have to do is fill out this table here uh, using our knowledge of statistics so just a sort of a couple of quick remarks one thing that I should mention here is that you're actually given some of these pieces of information already in the question so uh, from what we were given in the qu uh, question, we should be should have been able to work out that the two there was three levels of nitrogen, so therefore two degrees of freedom. There are twenty four observations altogether, so there should be twenty three degrees of freedom for total. Uh, this is something we also worked out earlier. These are the one of the calculations we worked out in the last exercise, and uh, but here it, it was given to us just to sort of essentially speed up the exercise. Uh, in these sort of questions, just for the sake of time, you'll be given some of the um, uh, results just to sort of speed, uh, so to speed up the calculation, so that you're not all day doing it in the exam hall. What we're going to do is uh, rewrite this table here. Now, what I, I'm going to do, I have a blank page here somewhere. Yeah, I'm just going to write it in here, and I'm going to re recreate my table. So the first thing I'm going to do is the source at uh, the sums of squares, degrees of freedom, and also the mean square. Okay, 
So the first, the mean square is the sums of square divided by degrees of freedom. So the first one we're going to look at is nitrogen. Okay. And the sums of squares of that was the 559139.25. Okay. The degrees of freedom, actually I'm just going to move this column over slightly just to make more room for mean square. Uh, that was 2. Okay. So the mean square is 279.569.625. Yeah. Depth we figured out earlier to be 61206. Okay. Degrees of freedom for that was 1, so the mean square is uh, sums of square divided by degrees of freedom, so that's 61206 six six divided by 1, 61206. Okay, now, interaction, N by D. Previously worked that out to be, uh, this is one we're actually given, 2237.3. The sums of square, uh, degrees of freedom there is 2, so the mean square is 1118.650. Finally, the error. And we know the degrees of freedom. This is where um, things get interesting now. Okay, so we're just sort of doing some very basic calculations. But if you recall earlier on that we have total degrees of freedom was. 23 okay now the thing about degrees of freedom is that all of the values here and this column have to add up to 23 okay so we have 2 plus 1 plus 2 and what else what would bring us up to 23 the answer to that is 18 okay now second thing uh, this is something that we're given in the that question Let's go back down to it there. We we're actually uh, uh, told, I'm actually sort of following the question now more closely. I was just putting in a few of the uh, calculations we figured out. This is 629744.5. I'll just re rewrite that out again. The sums of, total sums of squares is 629744.5. Okay. So let's bring that into our workings. Six two nine seven four four point five zero. Okay. What goes in here such that the the sum of this column would give you six two nine seven four four point five? This is a little bit of calculator work. Okay. Uh, so it is essentially sums of squares total sums of squares error let's write this in in blue sums of squares error is sums of squares total minus sums of squares for nitrogen plus depth plus nitrogen by depth okay so it's essentially the difference okay the value actually just so if you work it out in your calculator you should get 7161.75 okay 7161.75 divide that by 18 and what do you get 398.875 okay so essentially what we we have our worked out all of the values there actually I sorry I just uh, I put degrees in freedom and sums of squares in the other way around, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, degrees of freedom, sums of squares. Uh, yeah, just go with the, what was on the exam paper, put degrees of freedom first. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we would have had it there. Okay, 397.9 or 8. Uh, let's just sort of work on that in reverse. What we could have done there is figured out that uh, sums of squared error is the mean squared of error mean squared of error 
times degrees of freedom for error okay and that would have been equal to 397.9 times 18 and you would have got a very similar answer there you would have got uh, 7161 point uh, I just put to use the answer I had already around uh, 7161.75 there's a little bit of rounding error in a couple of these so that's how we might have figured out from this that this was 7161.875 that being 18, and uh, that we know to be 2, and that would have been known to be have been 1. Essentially, what we'd have to do is, uh, if we're working at it from first principles, we'd have to figure out either the sums of squares of nitrogen, or the sums of squares of depth. And by the process of deduction, we could have figured out the other one. Okay, let's just sort of recap on what I sort of said there. It is case here that when we were working out these in the where do I have them uh, working out some of these uh, sums of squares identities in the previous questions I can't remember oh there uh, no I can't remember where I put them uh, they uh, you only need one of the two of them or to cal calculate one of them and use the other information to deduce the rest okay uh, so I think I pretty much I have said everything I want to say. Complete the ANOVA table and use it to assess the evidence that provides uh, the uh, assess the uh, what evidence the experiment provides regarding the six uh, treatments. Uh, in this case, what we're going to do is we this is the hypothesis test now. So this is the next part. Essentially, what we're going to do is actually look at these mean squared values and what we're going to do is compute the test statistics for all those and so uh, the mean squared and these are the ratios uh, essentially I'll tell you what I'll just wait that, uh, that we we'll get to the next video for that um, the mean squares are the basis of the hypothesis test or uh, when we have the ANOVA table complete uh, we use the mean squares to carry on with the hypothesis testing also what we need uh, in this uh, is the F tables, okay? The F probability distribution tables. Uh, so, okay, that's enough of that.